Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm Four Nine and Five, and today is Saturday. We are checking out the final Hot Wheels car that was added to Forza Horizon Four today. We've been checking out all of them over this week. I wanted to do this week-long daily upload thing to celebrate 800 subscribers. And I'm also doing a giveaway which is lasting till Monday, so you've got the rest of this weekend to go and enter that if you haven't already. Make sure you go and check it out, links in the description below, you can get yourself some free Moldy merch. But yesterday we went ahead and checked out this, the brand new International Lodestar, and it can do absolutely awesome wheelies. And today we've got another truck actually to go and check out it's our final vehicle from the new hot wheels car pack and yeah let's just hop straight into it <laughs> And here it is. This is the Ford F5 Julie Custom. It is the first Julie vehicle that we have ever received in a Forza game, I believe. Um, correct me on that if I'm wrong, but you can see it has these big old dual rear tyres on the back. We've got some, I don't think they're gas bottles, I think they're fuel possibly dual fuel tanks on the back not quite sure we've got a big old diesel engine up front actually so this thing doesn't have a v8 it has a big old turbo diesel engine under the bonnet and you can see it has been quite heavily chopped it is very very low it looks absolutely awesome it's the first diesel rat rod that we have in Forza Horizon as well, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and explode the thing. We can get a better look at this thing. We've got a nice cone air filter in there. We've got a big old turbo. And then in here, we've got some horrible looking seats, actually. I mean, they look cool, but they look very uncomfortable, I will say that and um, we've got some rev counters and stuff going on under there and then on the back we've already seen we've got those big dual rear tires and rear and uh, dual fuel tank sorry and we have got some customization for this thing so let's head to the custom shop and have a look at that all right so here we are in the upgrade shop let's have a look what engine swaps we can get in this thing so we got the stock diesel engine so i want to just emphasize that it is diesel so it has 687 pound feet of torque and 400 horsepower which is quite a lot but for something that weighs nearly 5,000 pounds that is not really going to help us out that much i'm not really sure what kind of builds we're going for this so we've done a drag build we've done a drift build we've done a street sort of racer build already so not really sure what i want to go with this thing i think just try and get this thing to go quite fast down the motorway i guess um so i think we're going to leave the stock engine in there but we can get the racing v8 7.2 liter if we want to that has 850 horsepower and only 640 pound feet of torque so that's the thing about diesels is they have a lot of torque so hopefully we can do a burnout in this thing dual rear tires that's going to be fun we can go ahead and convert this thing to all-wheel drive since it's a rat rod i think it's more appropriate to leave it rear wheel drive and we have got those massive dual rear tires on there so that's not going to be an issue now we can actually get tire options on this so we got the stock tires we can go for sport tires we can go for race tires which are almost slick and then we can actually go for slick tires so um i think we're gonna go for like a speed runner build with this see how fast we can get this thing to go so i'm gonna go with race tires we can go ahead and upgrade the front wheels tire width not really gonna bother with that i think they look okay the tires uh the wheels sorry i think look absolutely awesome because they're these like proper truck tires so i'm going to leave those on there we can go ahead and upgrade the uh wheel diameter 
and get those really low profile but looks a bit silly i think so we'll leave that we'll go ahead and upgrade all the drivetrain the clutch and the transmission and everything we want this thing to go as fast as possible we're going to need some good brakes on this thing if we're going to stop it and we'll go ahead and throw on some anti-roll bars so we can actually corner a little bit we'll go ahead and strip out a bit of that weight so it's going to strip out quite a lot of weight which is nice and then we'll go ahead and upgrade the engine so standard we have 400 horsepower remember that and let's go ahead and upgrade this thing now with every part that we need and see how much we can actually get out of this i forgot to look what class we were standard i think we were b class possibly and we are now s1 class 850 which is quite an improvement and we are at 819 horsepower which is quite a lot but 1400 pound feet of torque so this thing is definitely going to be doing burnout and uh, we have some paint options for it so let's go ahead and check out those first and then we'll take it outside so here we go like we had with the nash custom this thing has some really nice patina going on here and we've also got this checkerboard roof which looks really cool so i think the paint option is probably going to get rid of that it's actually going to make it like really shiny like that so you can go for like a shiny look if you want to we already went for an orange build yesterday so i'm not going to go for another orange build i actually really like the patina on this thing since it's kind of a rat rod i think it suits it you can go ahead and change up the bonnet if you want to i like it just with the patina you can't change the wing mirrors you can't change the wing because it doesn't have one the tire options you can go ahead and paint those so if you wanted them black or orange uh, orange actually looks pretty cool with this build um i think we might just go for the centers black and then we might go ahead and change um the outer lip we might change that to something a little bit more kind of shiny so possibly something like this that looks pretty nice i like that looks very rat rod-esque and then you can go ahead and oh you can't actually change the windows because it doesn't really have any it has those little ones on the side and the one on the front the windscreen but doesn't have any side windows so there we go that is the thing fully customized let's see if we can do a burnout first and then we'll take it to the motorway and do a speed run in this thing right so here we go we are outside in our brand new ford f5 julie custom it looks fantastic outside i really like it nice and shiny it's kind of got the patina look but then it's got like a clear coat on top of it so it looks really shiny let's see if we can do a burnout in this thing firstly i think we are not going to have an issue with that apparently we are going to have an issue with that i think i've got too much grip going on actually be able to oh there we go okay so we can't get a standing burnout but we probably can get kind of like an extended burnout like we've got going on here maybe we need to go like second gear burnout maybe that's the way no okay bit unfortunate there i think it's because i've got so much grip in this thing possibly um but this thing was built for speed that is what i have built it for so we'll go ahead and take this thing to the motorway and see how fast we can get it okay so i've made it to the motorway and i'm glad that i'm filming this at night time because i wanted to show you something that's kind of cool if you see the little skeleton on the back right in the middle uh in the center of the roll cage there when you hit the brake lights on this thing the lights <laughs> inside the eyes of the skeleton actually light up which is really cool i like that feature props to whoever made this vehicle i don't know who made all these hot rod vehicles in this new hot wheels pack but they are absolutely fantastic and in case you're curious these are actually real vehicles that people have made that go on hot wheels tour they get selected to be made into a small hot wheels vehicle and then they're added to forza horizon 4 so it's absolutely fantastic that little features like that are actually added to the game i absolutely love it this thing looks fantastic but now is the ultimate challenge to see how fast we can get this thing um i'm not sure how fast they are in real life 
but if we can get this thing over 150 I'd say that is a pretty fast F50 so let's go ahead and rev this thing up and see how fast we can go not to 60 is about two and a half seconds which is pretty impressive I don't think we're gonna have any issues getting up to 150 we're already at 130 40 that's 150 right there I think it's fair to say this is probably the fastest F50 in the world that's 160 can we get to 170 let's have a little look I think we're not gonna have an issue with that 170 there let's see if we can get this thing to 180 I think that might be a little bit of a stretch probably aero limited as well and we could probably do with a little bit more horsepower I mean we have 800 horsepower but I think 172 is our top speed so far I don't think we're gonna get anything more out of this thing it's spitting flames out the side it looks absolutely awesome I love this thing as far as rat rods go I'm not a huge hot rod rat rod kind of fan I like muscle cars hot rods are not really my kind of thing but this is awesome if i saw this in real life i'd want to get a photo with it that is going to do it for today's video though that is the last hot wheels car that we had to check out we've checked out all the other hot wheels car pack vehicles over the course of this week so i hope you guys have enjoyed this week unfortunately i'm not able to do daily uploads every week which is kind of a shame because personally I'd like to do that for you and I'm sure you guys would like more videos so we're going back to the one day a week Saturday at 4 p.m. uploads for the remaining few weeks so hopefully you guys can appreciate that but once summer hits hopefully I can get some more videos out for you so if you want to stick around the channel for that that would be greatly appreciated as I mentioned at the start we are trying to reach a thousand subs so if you want to help us out be greatly appreciated and don't forget to go ahead and enter the giveaway link in the description below that's going to do it for today though thanks all so much for watching i hope you did enjoy checking out this brand new ford f5 julie custom in forza horizon 4 and i'll see you all in the next video